We've been designing the city for the car for too long now. We have to put the person on foot at the heart of the city. We have an intense week, beginning with seminars from professors from all over the world. Politicians and planners and architects. If you think about mobility in the 20th century, it was quite inefficient. We've been designing for the car and we've been segregating people. We need to rescue the space for pedestrians, for cyclists and of course for public transport users. It's absolutely clear. Cities first need to think about their goals and to be clear about what their goals are. To invest in mobility infrastructure is to invest in access to a better quality of life. New mobility systems are going to change the city. And use the technology to actually solve problems of the majority of the world that are in need. I believe that mobility is a key element for achieving social equality. The less privileged need access to the city. And then working with the students closely to help them think through in three cities what the urban mobility challenges are of each city and how they can respond. My group has been working in London, which is a complex city because it is so rich in transit and has so much already. Our proposal is to head a monorail across the uh, river. My team and I have been working on the city of San Francisco. Promote the walkability. To reduce the number of vehicles. We've been looking into Mexico City. We try to emphasize the social impact and aspect of mobility. I'm very happy with what the scholars have done. We need to use the best skills of the architects and urban designers to seamlessly integrate these systems into the urban fabric. I hope that the Foundation will do what the Foundation is here to do, which is to challenge, to provoke, to take on projects that others can't. What I took from this week, it was beyond my field, it was beyond education itself. I cannot look at the transport the way I used to do. Walk, ride a bicycle, avoid buying your own car for as long as you possibly can. We need to build the future together. I will advise the next participants to be more provocative than we were. Enjoy and be energetic from the beginning. It was really nice to be heard and to be respected. The advice to the young is don't wait to uh, get a phone call from a client. Go out and find your project. If they change the cities, they are going to change the life of most of the population. The future is not written in stone. The future will actually be the result of many collective choices we will all make.